Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake Iron Exotics and it's Fossil Monday! So, uh, yeah, we're going to crack on and do some fossil work today. We're going to do some prep, we're going to do some chiseling, uh, we're going to show you what the tools I use um, the shoes I the, 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 the tools I use and then I'm going to show you some that you can get away with using so if you haven't got the right tool something you could use maybe you can find in the shed or in a, or something like that and you'll be able to use it so it saves you going out and buying anything so uh, I'm going to show you some that I've already done and I'm going to show you some that we're going to do today and we're going to do two different types hopefully one from Wren's Nest and one's from Sedberry Sedberry? Sebberry Cliffs from when we went on our last adventure. So uh, we're going to do them today, have a good, li uh, good little chisel, good little time, tell you about some of the fossils and how I do them and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, we'll crack on, have a good day. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment and share for me and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. And we have had the, uh, the big animal order come today. So um, that will be on the video for tomorrow. We've had uh, all the cool animals come, so that'd be really cool to watch. So uh, what I'm going to do now is show you the ones I've worked on. I've got um, one from Shubri Cliffs, one from um, another place in Gloucester, and then I'll, I'll find one I got from Wrens that I've done as well. So uh, I'm going to show you them now. So I know it's meant to be fossil day, but I had to show you what the rainbow boa looks like in the sun. I'm not sure if the uh, camera can pick it up, but uh, it's just like purple and greens and blues. Try and get a good look at it for you. There we are. Look, look at that blues. Yeah, it's hard to pick up the shine on it, pick up the different colours. What I can see, from in my eyes, she's all rainbow colours, but in the camera, it doesn't seem to want to pick it up. It's bitten it a bit, I think. But yeah, stunning snap. Oh, there you go, you can see it on the red there. Look at that. What a stunning snake. There you go, look, look at all them colours. It's a Brazilian rainbow boa. But yeah, we'll uh, crack on with some fossils. So, this is one we had from um, Shrewsbury Cliffs. So you can see where the fresh, so it was like that. And I've exposed all that bit of fossil there. So you can see how I've come down here. So you end up, so this was like this. And what you do is you bring it down like that because you want a thin, it's the thinnest layer over this possible, and then you get that thin layer to chip off. That is that. Well, that's that's the technique I use. So I'll show you one from the other place we went to, and these are the only bones I've ever found myself. So I've shown you this before. You've got the bone there that I've been chiseling on uh, to expose it. There is this one here. You can actually see my chisel marks still, uh, and where I've exposed it. Um, there's bone there, there's bone here, uh, there's more bone there as well coming through that I've got to expose again. So, uh, well, I'm not sure what that fossil is, but it's definitely a fossil. Um, so I'll just put these down out the way for a sec. And then this is the one from uh, Ren's Nest that I, I've showed you this before as well, that I was working on. And then uh, at certain points, you, you, you sometimes you have to stop. It's just it gets too hard to separate the rock from the fossil. So sometimes you just have to accept defeat and, ex and just enjoy the fossil for what, how it is. So uh, tools for today. So I would normally use my fossil hammer with uh, all my marks on it. And then I've made myself a little tapping tool. So you would class this as, um, if he was going to go buy one, it would be a um, centre punch or a um, pi pilot uh, punch. 
So it's what you hammer into a piece of metal to make a little divot. So then when you drill, put the drill into it, you've got a locator point to put the drill in to start it off, if you know what I mean. So um, if you explain to them, say you need a um, the marker tool to uh, punch a hole into metal, so then when you put your drill into it, it locates it for you. So, uh, But I've made this one myself out of an old drill bit, because it's a lot harder. So this is actually a like hardened steel drill bit. And I've uh, managed to shape it into a nice little pin for us. And it's got a nice little hammer end for us to use as well. So uh, that's what I use. But you could quite easily use a little stumpy screwdriver. You, won't ha you don't have as sharp a point. But it's the exact same sort of shape. You may have to. It, it's not going to last as long. You're going to start making this um, flatter and flatter and flatter. So it's going to get less effective and less effective. But um, the more you use it... Oh, there's a little crack in the glass. <sighs> not sure if it's a crack. But, uh, yeah. The, so that's what you can use instead. And anything you can hit on there with. A hammer. You could use a rock. Anything you can hit them on the head with would work. Hammer is obviously going to be better. I sometimes use it. I've got a little tiny hammer I've made. If I can, if I can find it, I'll show you. Sometimes I use that because I can. You got a bit more control and it's less weighted. So uh, if I can find that for you, we will. And then uh, we'll start doing some uh, some work. Um, which one did I think we was going to do? I did pick a couple. Um, I think there was this one. I was going to try and expose this one some more because I started it but I haven't finished. So you want to try and expose all the rest of that circle. Um, and then I was going to try, we are going to try and get rid of this as well. See if we can get rid of this big rock off and see if we can expose all the fossil underneath. Um, and then we're going to do one from Wren's Nest as well. So I think we're going to try and expose that one as well. Try and get that one as well. So we've got three to do today. I think we may do these two more than, than, than the third one. But, uh, yeah, I think that one and this one. So we've got one from Wren's Nest, one's from Shrewberry Cliffs. So from both adventures, you can see how, you, how I would clean and um, prep the fossils. And um, one thing you can do afterwards is get um, some um, spray paint lacquer. And you just spray them with the lacquer and it makes them shiny and you can see all the colours and stuff and it makes them stand out that bit more. But sometimes it can make them look a little bit tacky. So it, it's, it swings and roundabouts. But uh, yeah, let's start tapping away. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, some in the voice like I, I do because I've got a voice and it's handy. Um, but also I will uh, show you how to do it freehand. So if you haven't got a voice, we can do it. We can just tap away on the side or I can move it onto the floor and we can do it down there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do some in the voice first and then uh, I'm going to start with the smaller one and then once we get onto the bigger one, which is that one, we can, um, we can come out and do that on the floor so we can show you. But yeah, let's uh, start tapping. Okay, so we've got our little one down here. I ain't got much room because my shed's full of stuff because I'm a little bit of an order. But uh, I'll try and move it down afterwards so we can get a better look at the fossil. But I actually haven't actually got it in the voice. Because there's a nice ridge there. I can sit it in the voice and it's nice and solid. Because if I try to clamp it, I'll be hitting the fossil as you can see. We don't want to do that. So that's nice and sturdy in there. And usually, you don't want to be like this. Way too much power. You're usually like this. Just tappy, tappy, tappy. Oh, that wasn't very good, was it? So I'm going to set you up in a better position. How's that? You comfy? So, uh, that's a bit better, isn't it? So I'm hoping you can see the fossil. I'm going to have to go through it and double check. But uh, I'll be a little bit lower just in case. There we go. So I'll try and turn it the other way. So I'm actually doing it backwards now, which I wouldn't normally do because I'm trying to get at you see. So we start right at the top. Um, we want to try and lower this level first 
then we can come down here and try and get this little bit here to pop off so just light oh see that bit's just popped off for us we weren't even tapping at that little bit see I'm just doing tiny little taps so and then see and all that's come loose then from blowing on it I didn't have to pull on it I didn't have to tug or anything there is actually a little bit of fossil there but it's, it's all smashed to bits really so uh, we we'll carry on tapping away I'm oh, sorry I'll move my finger so I normally have my finger there as a guide so it can't pop away so I hold it like that so as I'm tapping if it slips I've got full control I've only literally I've just got to push my finger down a tiny bit and my finger is going to save it it's hard to, I hope you can see um, so I'm trying I'm doing it a bit like I wouldn't normally do it the way I'm doing it but um, it's an easy way to show you how to do it so we're going tappy tappy again And why I think this works well is because instead of like trying to actually carve it, it goes in there and pushes it apart and splits and cracks the rock. So you get a lot more splitting and less actually trying to carve your way out of the rock. So it's actually quite hard considering it's from Zren's nest. Usually it's nice and soft clay. But I think we've got it's a pile of fossils in with it as well. So I think that's why it's that little bit harder. And you can see as I'm tapping away, there's other bits starting to frag fragment off. Little bits of wiggles. But uh, we'll leave that and let it chip off on its own. Because we don't want to take anything off with it. So uh, we'll carry on tapping. And see how I'm going down and it's shearing off that way so it's popping off all these nice little shards and we're showing us more of the fossil so as you can see on top there we can see a lot more of the fossil already we'll get you some close-up shots with the uh, with the little camera we can do that uh, actually I'm gonna do that now okay so what we're gonna do is we start up here so I've got it at a weird angle because I'm trying to show you how to do it better we're just doing little taps oh see how all that's just fell off there so you always check through it to see if you've exposed anything in the uh, in the rubble so have a look at the back as well no, it looks like we're okay, but we have got a nice bit there we, we don't have to get off now because it's already been done. So we can carry on doing some more tapping. So this here, this went really close to it. We'll probably do that a little bit closer towards the end. But if I can open the vise a tiny bit more. I can get it in a bit. I think we've got to add it before, I think. Okay. So we're just going to do some light tapping now. When you get closer to the fossil, see all that's just gone there. Perfect. When you get close to the fossil, you barely even tap it. So you've got to be careful as well. See, so if I had my little finger around it, I'd have caught that then. And I'd have had less chance of hitting the fossil. But I didn't hit the fossil. See? 
See how it's tapping, 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 very slight taps. We always start at the top because we know there's no fossil up here. Oh, yeah, and by the way, safety glasses. If you're going to be chipping at fossils, it's, it, I don't know why, but they just want to hit you in the eye. So always have your safety glasses on. So I just remembered that and I forgot about it. So I put mine on now. So normally it would be in the vice and it wouldn't be um, jiggling as much. I'm sorry the camera's not focusing as perfect as I'd like. But uh, we're trying our best, we are. Got a bit higher. Guess it. And you know you can tap a lot harder on the top because you know there's no fossil, there's nothing to be worried about. So you can give it a little bit harder of a tap just to sometimes to speed it along. But a lot of the times, nice little taps are plenty. I mean, we're in no rush. We've got plenty of time. So uh, what I might do is uh, see if we can turn it another way. Do another bit of it. Uh, can we see that bit there? Because sometimes we can just tap the actual. See how it's coming off? Just little taps. This, is, this isn't the best way to do it. This would be a way to do it if you didn't have a chisel. Now, now that I've got the chisel, I'd be going up here, and we're just doing a slight tap. See how more effective that is? There you go. There's that bit we wanted off. And sometimes, you can just run your finger down it and it takes a lot of the dirt off for you. See how we've got all that bit off there now? We can come all the way around, we can go over the top. We've got a lot more of the top done. So what I'm gonna do, we've spent a little bit of time on this one, I'm gonna move on to the next one so we can have a look at that. Okay, dokie. So now this one, I'm going to use the screwdriver, I'm going to still use the hammer, but we, we've got it loose on the ground, and um, I'm going to try it, let's see if I can get a little bit of angle for it. So we're working high again. See how it's all just shattered? Just little, little taps. See, we've got no bit there. See, it's a nice crack there now. You know, you don't. Want, sometimes it's best just to just to tap it, just to tap it. There we go. There's another bit off now. So we want to make sure we don't have any fossil come with it. We want the fossil to be left behind for us. So now I'm going to go a lot. Oh, look now. See, it's hard with this one because I wasn't doing that then because I'm trying to show you. So I can do it a little bit with this one. You can still see what I'm doing. But you can see I've got a lot more control now of where it goes. Now look at that. That is a nice piece to come off. Let me go down. 
Look at that. Literally, a couple of taps and we've exposed so much more. So I'll give it a little bit of a turn so I can have a better angle. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to come right up high. Right up here. So I've got to bring this down a lot lower so I can get access to the rest. I'm going to start up here. Oh, it's a bit wobbly, a bit wibbly wobbly. Oh, see, that's why we've got to be careful. Slipping is bad. So I think we got away with that. So I'm going to come over here into a divot. See, it's a norm. This is. It can be a little bit more difficult doing it without the vice and other stuff like that. And of course, I'm doing it even more awkward because. I'm trying to show you a bit more, so normally I'd have it clamped between my legs or at least my foot, so I might try and put it there like that so uh, I can hold it with my foot. And of course I'm chiseling backwards. Normally I would be chiseling towards myself, not away from myself. I'm doing it away from yourself so you can see. Don't put on me doing it and you're not being able to see. So, try my best to make sure that you can see quite easily what we're doing. So. Right, this is a nice fossil. This is, I have to admit, I do like this one. So, I think we're going to try doing it with a little tap there. Got a crack. Oh, look at that. Just where we wanted it. So, we've actually done it for two fossils there. So, I've just exposed all that on that side. And we've just exposed that bit there. <sighs> so, we're doing well today. So I still want to get rid of this lump here. Again, so we're getting it lower, getting a better angle on it. A couple more taps, she should pop off. It's awkward because literally my hand is here. So I'm trying not to block the camera. I'm trying still to hold it and I'm trying not to damage the fossil. So I'm doing about four or five things at once. Oh, that was nice, that was nice. That was nice. Oh, and again, that was nice. There you go, and know when to stop. So we're going to go up here again. We know we're high up so we can give it a little bit harder taps but we don't want to go too crazy because it can still splinter and hurt the fossil and that's what we don't want to happen oh that was nice that was nice that was a nice little flake now we can come down on it and we can get a nice little crack off again look at that <sighs> see now that's a nice little bit of exposure that is so we get rid of this little lump here as well So you've exposed all that, we've exposed this around here as well. I mean you could go down a little bit more if you wanted to. Um, but again, you'd have to take a lot of this off. Because you've got to go down first and then come across. So it's down, then come across. That's how it works. So you want to go chisel down, 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 then you want to aim it this way. And chisel in and get it to ping off so it would be nice to try and do this one as well but what I'd have to do is it would be trying to get this off so it's got to split I've got to try and split between the two fossils so I have to get it to crack exactly right you see we've got a hairline crack all the way along on there so, I mean, we can give it a tap and see what happens. 
Um, these are some of my nicer fossils, so sometimes it's better just to let sleeping dogs lie. But yeah, I think we'll, we'll keep that like that now. Um, we'll have a couple of taps on the other one for you. So here we have the uh, next one. I'll put it on your foot. It's a bit higher up for you. So this one's a little bit harder. A little bit harder stone. A um, little bit harder to see. And uh, it's going to be harder to get perfect as well because it's, it's more, it's older I think. So it's more turned into rock than anything else. Oh. That's going to work. I have to do it on the floor. Too much bounce on my foot. But you can hear from the sound, it's an harder rock. Just from the tapping. Because it's a harder rock, I'm going to switch my tools. I don't want to damage my screwdriver too much. See, it works a little bit better as well. Come up high again and work it down. So I'm actually staying pretty far away from anywhere near the fossil. That must be at least oh, five mil. So I'm actually anywhere near the actual fossil. I'm going to stop because at the moment we're just chiseling and getting rid of the height. That's the main thing, and then we can get to popping off bits off the fossil in a sec. <sighs> As you can see, we're working it all down. very hard one to get this one is I think it's going to be a really hard one to do and do well anyway so I completely moved that edge now moved it back so far I'm getting close to the fossil so I've changed the angle. See if we can get a bit to shard off. We have, we have, we have. So carry on. <sighs> this is a very hard one to expose, really is. It's hard to see where it stops and the stone begins. <laughs> see, it looks like I've literally I've just caught the fossil there, bugger. So, really, it was going to come round here like this. So, you almost have to imagine where the fossil is. And if you can see there, that's before I've touched it and there's already a bit where it's come off. So it's hard to tell if it's part of the fossil or is it part of the rock. But yeah, this is these this that's what's why I do on the harder ones, just got a lot tapping a lot towards the back and you work your way forward. You gotta remember, it's the first time doing it. 
it's no harm if you break it or anything like that so have some practice ones get some uh, less quality less high quality fossils have a, some practice taps <sighs> see how you get on so we've got a lot more of it exposed now but uh, yeah so we'll see if we can get some other shots of stuff and then uh, see how we get on we've got that one there So we're going to have a little go and uh, let's see if we can get this one a little bit. I'm going to move it a bit because it's going to go on the floor because I'm making a racket banging it on the glass. So, see how we get it on. So again, we're starting high. was nice didn't even plan to do that we've got a bit of the fossil exposed a little bit shot off there I mean sometimes you just it's hard to get a ch your chisel on it and then you can get to a bit where you got your chisel there Tapping along, tap, tap, tap. Oh, that was a nice piece. Again, again, and again. See, we've got a lot more of the shell exposed now. Look at that, it's cut up over here as well. There we go. Remember, it's just layer by layer, you want to lower that top bit down. Nice, nice. It's got loads more of it exposed now. There we go, more. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice piece. That's an hard bit to get because it's right at the edge of the shell. I brought it to too much of a peak. It's hard to get the chisel on it, so I just brought it down with the hammer. I can let the chisel on it again. This is too acute, so you're going to start slipping with the chisel. Keeping it clear is important as well. So you want to be able to see what you're doing. It actually seems like there might be something there as well. Got a nice helicopter flying over, or plane, or whatever it is. I don't think you can hear much ever more tapping anyway, to be honest. Let me 
can see I've been just exposed a lot more now. So much more exposed. Probably double the surface area. So I'm trying to do a bit more. Trying to make it easier for you to see. Didn't touch it, didn't touch it, we're okay. <sighs> so I'm just gonna make a quick adjustment to it. literally just change the angle so I can hit down and break these edges off because they're uh, being a pain at the moment there we go it's a lot better now literally all I did was light down and it at it like that that's all I did just so I've got more of a flat place now so I can focus on actually getting the fossil and not actually just trying to hit the rock without it slipping off. It's so much easier now to just be tapping away. <sighs> Look at all that. That's some nice bit of fossil exposure that is. We're doing well today. So stay still, behave yourself. Light, light little taps. There we go. So uh, actually, I'm going to show you pop out. And um, I did have some of the animals, so uh, I might bring you out one of the animals. Or knowing me by the recording, I've already showed it you, and now I'm telling you. So uh, you know what I'm like with getting all in the wrong order with the bloody editing. I'm learning. I'm trying my best. But uh, yeah, I probably already showed you. <sighs> so what we could do, maybe move it like this. It looks like the fossil's coming all the way around that way. So I think that's going to be a good idea. Oh, I wonder what that crack is. Let's see that. Oh no. Sometimes you get a fossil, sometimes you don't. Oh well. I mean, look how much more we've got exposed. It still feels exactly like a shell, it does. Really, really does. So, my hands are starting to get tired now. So, I won't be doing much more. As soon as you start getting tired, you start making mistakes. And that's what we don't want to happen. We do not want to be making mistakes when you're hitting fossils. Because once you've hit and broke something that's a million or something years old, it's not the best, feel, best feeling in the world, I have to admit. 
Yeah, when I've when you found something, put all the effort into finding it, and then uh, you break it. It's not a very nice feeling, I have to admit. But it happens quite a bit. It does happen quite a bit. I'll just change the angle because the shape of the rock it's a bit of a pain to get the right angle to get it to shard off the rock to break off the crystal not the crystal the, uh, the fossil oh, but you gotta be careful look I almost touched the fossil then there's a layer of brick between it. I just managed to save that then by stopping at the right time. There we go. I'm going to get the other camera out so we can have a better look. There we go, that's all we, you can see the difference between the stuff we've exposed and the stuff that's been out for ages. You literally just give it a brush now, try and get some more of this little bits of dirt off. And then, uh, yeah, you can slowly make it perfect. So there's that one we did, there's this one we did some more work on. Is this one we showed it all? We got all that exposed. We got some more of that exposed. And then that's that crack I was on about underneath. That maybe we can investigate one day. Um, and then that's again, that's the big one. And then if I grab the. Uh, That's the one we was doing in there. So I'm going to do a bit more with this one in a minute and see how we get on. I think that's going to be better off in the voice, I think. It's a bit hard to do like that. Come back to tapping at this one. And uh, I was tapping away. And all oh, that has fell off. So there's fossils in there. So we're going to keep that. And it looks like there's fossils there as well. We're going to keep that. So I'm going to carry on tapping away. So the last couple of minutes tapping on that one. So when we had earlier with all the met all the rock underneath and it's all shattered off now. You can see all of the underneath. You can see we've exposed all that back now. And all this side piece. So we get a lot of the, the dirt, more of the dirt off the thin layers off the front with a brush and some water. But most of that's exposed now. So uh, I hope you had a wonderful day and I hope you've enjoyed our little fossil tips and tricks and prep for today uh hope you like the little shot of the rainbow boa as well stunning little creature um did bite me though little bugger yeah it did bite me but um yeah great day um please like subscribe comment and share and if you have any questions or anything about the fossils feel free to ask um 
If you want to watch another video of mine, there should be a box there. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, there should be a little circle up there for you. I'll uh, see you in the future. Bye.